For every project I do, there needs to be a meeting of a material and the project. So there has to be a theme in the project which can be thought about in a particular material. With Lulu it was the black ink, which is both a kind of blood of all the victims, but also has something of the harshness of woodcuts and their possibility of tearing the sheets of paper and fragmenting the desire, which is the heart of Lulu. With Wozzeck, there was something much more about the graininess, the grey sky of a charcoal drawing. Lulu is an entirely interior opera, and Wozzeck, by and large, is an exterior opera. And for the landscape, and particularly the skies, there's something about the graininess of a charcoal drawing that seemed essential. Within the production, there is the large cyclorama, the backdrop, in which the projections which we show are kind of the imaginings of Wozzeck of explosions, of fires, which are there in the play from 1837, but which are in a sense a premonition of what came to be in 1914 and the period when Berg was writing the opera of these massive explosions going up to the heavens. I would describe it as a premonition of the First World War. So it's not as if people are in authentic period uniforms. They're fragments of uniforms. Some of the ghost images in the small child wears a gas mask, so that brings us into that period. To do a project like Wozzeck, to do an opera like Wozzeck. An essential part of it are two workshops in my studio in Johannesburg, in which I'll ask some dancers, some actors, to come and work with us, with the team of designers, lighting designers, in which we'll work with recordings, but try to see how we could stage a scene, what would be the language of the movement of the performers. One has to think, where is the violence inside Wozzeck that takes him to the state where he's going to kill the thing he loves most, which is Marie? There are different ways of thinking. Obviously, it's a long tradition of men's violence against women. It's a long tradition of people who are depressed finding their only relief in violence to make themselves feel alive, either to suffer violence or to inflict violence. So long before he kills Marie, there's part of him that knows this is the way it's going to end. I think I'm interested in awkward operas, operas in which there are unsolved riddles, operas in which there's a space, both musically and thematically, for a world to evolve and to be imagined around the story. There has to be a challenge somewhere in it. Rather than saying, this is just a gorgeous opera, I'm going to relax into the beauty of it and hope that the designs are nice. It has to be a, it has to be a machine for thinking in.